I'm John Batchelor. Larry Kudlow is with me, and we're going to punch through. And to, thanks to the miracle of John Fund of the American Spectator, we're going to go right to headquarters in New York 9. This is a special election caused with the resignation of a certain ex-member of Congress who's gone. I can't even remember his name, but in any way, he was a rascal. And this is Brooklyn. This is New York. This is Democrats. Democrats from, well, well into the 20th century, probably all the way back to Teddy Roosevelt. It's just a guess. John Fun is at headquarters. Mr. Fun, can you hear me? Yes, I can. And the last time this district elected a Republican was 1920. 1920. There it is, Larry. <laughs> so, John, what are the early returns? Well, at three percent of the vote in, uh, Turner, the Republican, has a lead over Western, the Democrat. Um, that's way too early to call the race. But the trend lines, given where I think turnout has been highest, which is especially in the Orthodox. Jewish areas and in the Rockaways, which is a Republican area in south of Queens. Um, the Republicans here seem very confident. Ed Koch is the former mayor of New York who has crossed party lines to endorse the Republican Bob Turner. Uh, he's sounding very confident, and he notes that there are six satellite television trucks parked outside of this restaurant uh, where the party is being held, and there are no satellite trucks in front of the Democrat. And he says that's always, uh, after 50 years in politics, I can tell you that's a sign. Uh, Mr. Fun. I have a quote here from Twitter. I just want to confirm this, that uh, the Mayor Koch said that the President of the United States, quote, threw Israel under the bus. Is that a quote? That is absolutely a quote. Uh, the mayor says this election will send a message all around the world, and it will be a message that will not um, just resonate in New York City. It will resonate everywhere. Mr. Fund, I understand the president, according to this detail, carried this district very heavily in 2008, but he's polling poorly now. Is that on the economy? It's mostly on the economy, but it's also on Israel. Thirty-seven percent of the voters in this district told pollsters Israel is very important to them, and they are overwhelmingly something like 70 to 30 voting for the Republican Bob Turner. So I think the Jewish vote is, may well tip for the first time in anyone's memory to a Republican candidate. Uh, it would be astonishing, but I think the issue here is Israel, the issue is jobs, and also gay marriage, because the Democratic candidate voted for gay marriage having previously been opposed to it, and I think that's cost him not only with Orthodox Jewish voters, but also, frankly, with some Catholic voters. Was Turner against gay marriage? Uh, he would not have voted for the bill in front of the legislature. And what are Democrats saying tonight, John? What's their line? Nothing. I mean, it's radio silence. Uh, you can't get them on the phone. They never call. They never write. <laughs> M Mr. Fund, uh, earlier today I had a lengthy email and then another one repeating the same points. Uh, to dismiss this election as indicative of anything, just a special election having to do with the disgrace of the previous uh, office holder, nothing to do with the national picture. Do you find that issue at, at, in New York 9? I think that um, for a president to be this unpopular in this district, his approval rating is in the 30s, and... For a district this Democratic, if it goes Republican, would be significant. Remember, the same people who say this special election means nothing also said that the loss of a Republican seat in upstate New York earlier this year, when the Republicans mishandled the communication and message issues on Medicare, they said that was a national bellwether. You can't have it both ways. Either a special election means something, if it's fought on national issues, or it doesn't. John Fund is reporting from New York, uh, New York 9. Nevada, too, is another special election today. These elections will be interpreted in five different ways. However, the important thing right now is that the Obama administration is struggling to capture the attention of America the way it did in 2008 and 2010 with the economy. Larry Kudlow who doesn't struggle, who captures the attention of the Americans every day with Kudlow Reports at CNBC and Kudlow Radio on the weekend. I'm John Batchelor.